All right, Broncos country, we have got our first game preview video of the 2024 regular season. Denver Broncos head to Seattle to take on the Seahawks on Sunday in their first regular season game, and it's going to be a very tough challenge for the Broncos. Obviously, going up to Seattle, one of the toughest places to play with the 12th man. The crowd noise up there is absolutely insane. Them or Kansas City have been tied for the loudest crowd noise of a professional sports stadium. So that is always a challenge. The Broncos are going to have to be sound with their communication all of their nonverbal communication especially. Make sure everybody's on the same page. No penalties, no pre-snap penalties especially. All that stuff's going to be key. But in this video, what I really want to focus on is Bo Nix going up against a Seattle Seahawks defense that has a new identity heading into 2024 under new head coach Mike McDonald and by extension new defensive coordinator Adam Dirty. But with both of those guys, they're bringing in a scheme that pretty much everybody in the NFL wants a piece of right now. Remember a few years ago when the Vic Fangio defensive scheme took wave in the NFL? Well, this scheme that Mike McDonald has run for the last two years as the defensive coordinator of the Baltimore Ravens is really taking waves. I mean, Baltimore still runs that scheme. The Chargers now run that scheme under Jesse Minner. The Chargers run, or I'm sorry, the Titans run that scheme with their new defensive coordinator. And there's a couple of other teams as well. The Miami Dolphins with defensive coordinator Anthony Weaver. So this scheme is really becoming the new secret sauce in the NFL. What is this defensive scheme? So it's a single high man coverage scheme, mostly. It's a scheme that the Baltimore Ravens have run for several years. But what Mike McDonald was able to do was he went to the college level with Jim Harbaugh at Michigan for one season after being a defensive assistant in Baltimore for several years. He went to Michigan to be their defensive coordinator. And he simplified the terminology of this scheme to make it easier to teach, especially to young players, because in college, you want to be able to run some of these NFL-level concepts, but the terminology and all of the assignments are just really hard to teach. Mike McDonald stripped all of the BS out of it and just stripped everything down to its core and made it really easy to communicate for these young players. He then brought that simplified terminology over to the NFL when, J when John Harbaugh brought him back to be his defensive coordinator in Baltimore, he was able to run this scheme at a very high level. Pressure is a key element of this scheme, especially simulated pressure. What that means is you're showing that you're potentially going to rush five, six, maybe even seven guys at the line of scrimmage, but then you back out and you only rush four of those guys and drop the rest in coverage. But the key is you don't know offensively which one of those guys is going to come on the rush and which one of those guys is going to drop into coverage. You can see defensive linemen drop into coverage and safeties come on blitzes or linebackers, so on and so forth. Mike McDonald is very creative with those simulated pressures. And those are looks that a young quarterback like Bo Nix is not necessarily used to seeing. He did see some of it at the college level, but it wasn't a whole lot. He's going to see quite a bit of simulated pressure looks in the NFL. And my concern is that with this Mike McDonald defensive scheme, it's going to sort of really challenge Bo Nix's processor. We all know that Bo Nix has a very high-level processor. We've seen him be able to get to the line of scrimmage and dissect what the defense is doing, identify the Mike linebacker, get the entire offense on the same page, use his cadence, dummy cadence, to get more information about what the defense is doing. All of that has been really, really good from Bo Nix so far. But it's going to be tough 
when you combine this defensive scheme that already gives you a lot of complicated and exotic looks with an environment like Seattle where the communication is already going to be strained because of the crowd noise. I'm wondering how Bo Nix is going to be able to handle that in his first start. This is going to be a big test for him, and if he passes this test, then I won't have very many concerns about Bo Nix moving forward because you could argue that this is his toughest test of the entire season just in terms of the defensive scheme, the complexity of it, as well as the environment. But Bo Nix has played in loud stadiums before in the SEC, especially Death Valley LSU. I mean, that place gets extraordinarily loud. Also in Alabama as well, Bo Nix has played in both of those stadiums as a visitor, so he can handle crowd noise. He's also familiar with that environment up there in the Pacific Northwest going to college at Oregon. But by that same token, you do have some reservations about that environment and this defensive scheme for a rookie making his first NFL start. But I think Bo Nix is going to handle it. I really do. And if he does indeed handle it, I'm going to have no concerns moving forward. Personnel-wise for this Seahawks defense, they do have a few new starters in there. Rayshon Jenkins at safety, Jerome Baker at Tyrell Dodson at linebacker. All those guys came over as free agents. They also have some guys that are returning from the previous regime. Devon Witherspoon, Tariq Woolen, Julian Love, uh, former Bronco Draymond Jones, Leonard Williams, Jaron Reed. So they do have a pretty nice mix there of old and new personnel-wise. And then they have some young players as well who are really, really starting to come into their own. Guys like Boye Mafe, guys like Kobe Bryant, the cornerback. I think that this Seahawks defense has a lot of potential with their young talent and with Mike McDonald and new defensive coordinator Adam Dirty um, running the show. And one little note about Adam Dirty, he is actually British and he is somebody who's really rising up the ranks. And here in a few years, we could see an NFL head coach up at the podium with a British accent. That would be really cool. Um, I think Adam Dirty has got a really, really bright future ahead of him. But overall, man, this Seahawks defense really does give me a little bit of concern about how Bo Nix and the offense are going to handle it. But you also have to think about Sean Payton. He's going to put Bo Nix in position to be successful. They're going to emphasize the quick game. Sean's going to make sure that that ball comes out of Bo's hands at a lightning fast pace. They're also going to run the football all those kinds of things in order to mitigate Bo Nix potentially having to do too much out there. I think this is going to be a game where it might be a barn burner. We might see a low score, maybe 17-14. to 14. But if the Broncos can stay disciplined, not commit penalties, run the football, and stay ahead of the chains, then I'm confident that they, that they can come out with a win. This will be just the first of many game preview videos here on the channel, but the main storyline is how is Bo Nix going to look in his first NFL start, and right now he does have a very tough test of ahead of him against the Seattle Seahawks defense, but there's also the factor as well that this is the first game where all of these players are playing together on that defensive unit, so maybe the continuity won't quite be there right away. And additionally, maybe Mike McDonald will make some first team or some first year head coach mistakes as well. So that's something else that you can definitely keep an eye on there, but it's going to be a big test for sure. All right, Broncos country, let me know in the comment section below. How do you guys feel about this Seattle Seahawks defense and how tough of a test do you feel like it's going to be for Bo Nix and the Broncos offense? Drop those comments down below, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts, as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys. Those are both free and easy ways to show your support. Helps tell YouTube's algorithm to push us out and helps us get seen by more and more members of Broncos country just like you and me. And until next time, guys, I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.